Well, Clipper Data began in late 2012, simply looking at crude oil imports coming into the US. And then from there, we've expanded and now we track crude on a global basis, sort of 50, 55 million barrels a day. But then we've also expanded on a global basis across various different commodities. For energy, we're looking all across the barrel, gasoline, diesel, jet fuel, fuel oil, propane, ethane, that type of stuff. And then petrochemicals as well. Now we're also moving into other commodities as well. So we're looking at grains, so oil seeds, so soybeans, soy meal, corn and wheat as well. So we have some large grain producers and oil producers, marketers, oil refiners. Also, people are buying our data if they're planning long-term projects. But then we also have the, the financial players as well, some physical traders and then some financial traders. So some may be just watching individual cargoes and looking for arbitrage opportunities. Others may be looking on a macro basis, on an aggregated basis, looking at those flows and then determining price signal from that. Well, in terms of our customers and the flows data, they're able to look at that on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, and decipher whether there is a surplus or a deficit and whether that is in a certain region or not. And from being able to do that, they can then take a position on whether they are bullish or bearish on the market. Well, as we continue to expand, we're looking to add new products in terms of the commodities we're already covering. We're also looking at other commodities as well and the opportunities there. And then finally, we're looking at other partnerships where they have proprietary data and we can meld it with our own proprietary data to then compound that value and produce something even more valuable.